Mother's Day. Yes, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> we thought we would do something a little bit fun and a different for today's video since we know a lot of you are hopefully getting celebrated and spoiled rotten by your family. And if not, then spoil yourself. Go out and take that, you know, like a spa day and, you know, get a good facial and stuff like that. So we have thought it would be fun to do a how well do I know my bestie Q&A? So we know that you guys are always kind of having some questions about like our friendship and we just kind of thought this would be funny to see like how well do we actually know each other. Yes, it definitely was fun coming up with these questions and answering the questions. So we're excited to share with you. We hope you guys laugh as hard as we know we're about to be laughing. And if you are new here, I'm Kelly. This is my best friend, Christina. Most of our videos are actually more geared to fashion. We do a lot of budget friendly hauls. We do tips and tricks and all that good stuff. So if you're interested in that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And those of you watching this, we know you are probably our loyal subscribers. So we thank you so much and we hope you guys really enjoy this and enjoy your Mother's Day. Okay, so for this video, this is how well do I know my bestie? So we put together 20 questions and we are going to try and answer them for each other. So this is gonna be interesting <laughs> because I know both of us had trouble answering for ourselves. So we true. already have written down our own answers on paper so there is no cheating. So we can compare and see how well we did. So I know we both tested out our yeah. husbands with this and they did okay. Yeah, they, they did, did pretty okay. well. So let's see, let's see if we can compare Pair, and whoever wins buys lunch. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I kind of feel like this is like the newlywed version, but for like besties, yes. right? Yes. And so. definitely play this one with your bestie if mm -hmm. you enjoy this. Yeah. So this is, I'm going to tell you right now, Kelly's at such a huge disadvantage because I was looking at all these questions and I was asking my family members, not because I wanted to know how well they knew me, but because I was looking for ideas. Cause I really was like, I have so many different answers. What is the right answer for what's my favorite or what do I like? So it is all over the place. I will tell you. So I'm sorry, but you're buying gonna lose. <laughs> mm, where am I going to go? Okay. So the first question is favorite food. So Christina's going to try to guess mine and we'll see how she does. And then I will try to guess hers. So favorite food. I mean, there's a lot of them for me. So what do you think I put? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to tell you, I already saw her answer and it's not what I was going to pick. So I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I leaned over. Just yeah, like I know. <laughs> we were talking about questions and I was like, I'm getting an egg right now. <laughs> I see what she's written down. Okay. So what I actually wrote down, cause I had several different things. Mm -hmm. Kelly That's is a, a hard huge question. foodie, so she <laughs> loves food. So it was hard, so but hard. I actually, believe it or not, I didn't pick a style of food because it was too difficult. I actually said seafood was your oh. favorite. And the well, reason that's why, actually, that's yeah, not wrong. and the reason why is because it doesn't matter whether we go to Greek, Peruvian, Thai, Indian, Indian, it's true. We're always getting some sort of seafood. But then I said, okay, well, if she wants me to pick a style, I did pick Greek. So what Okay, well, that is definitely one of my top three. And seafood was a good call because it's mm. true. I almost always go with shrimp. I wrote down Thai food, but I almost oh. feel like you knew me better than I knew myself. <laughs> Okay, for you, okay. I was really having a hard time with this one because yes. I had a specific thing in mind, but then I had to save that for another answer okay. that's coming later. Okay. So, I mean, you are kind of like me, mm -hmm. a big foodie. We both love ethnic food. Yeah. So I was kind of torn on this one because mm -hmm. usually when we're thinking about where we want to eat, there's like a few choices. Yes. So I actually was going to say Thai for you. But <laughs> And I do love Thai and I do love Thai. It's like, it is one of my favorite. And I, I feel like, I feel like I wrote stuff down just so I could purposely win. <laughs> nice. That sounds like you're so competitive. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like when I wrote she's <laughs> but, but I'll tell you the reason why I selected it. So what I actually picked was, I know you're going to be like, Oh, oh that's so specific. <laughs> And I said seafood. Okay, so this is the reason why I put octopus is because Kelly and I have been going to a Peruvian place a lot lately and to a Greek place a lot lately. And the reason why is because I really love their grill octopus yes, at both of those locations. True. I so that's what that I was one. thinking of. But I didn't know because honestly, we, we like a lot of it. it. My my husband picked Korean. My daughter picked that was Indian. on my list. Too. Yeah, yeah, I know because I yeah. we love we a lot love of, a lot of yeah. food. And I think it's funny that I put you and I having the same, and you put you and I having yes. the same. <laughs> 
You know why? Because we always share food when we go and have yes. lunch together because we love the same things. That is so, true. And a lot of it is seafood. All right. So. Well, I feel like that's like kind of a tie, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Who's keeping score? Yeah, exactly. Well, we both kind of lost because I didn't say tie. Yeah, that's so. true. All right. All right. We both lost that okay. one. All right. You get to do number two. Okay. So does Kelly have any allergies? allergies okay so this is what I put she may not have selected it but I'm telling you I'm right about this one so just know just know I'm right I don't know the actual name of it though <laughs> I know it sounds crazy to say that but this is what I have laundry detergent oh, laundry funny. detergent that is true. Because I know you had a physical reaction yes, to a laundry true. detergent that you were using. She had to go to the doctor, and the doctor said it's the laundry detergent that you're using that's all right, causing it. All right, all right. I said, no, I don't have any allergies, <laughs> but I did kind of forget about that. Man, you're good. Okay, you're beating me for sure. <laughs> okay, so does Christina have any allergies? I only came up with one. Mm -hmm. I don't think that there's any like food allergies, but I know you're allergic to penicillin. Yes. Yes, and that's true, but I didn't write that down. <laughs> you didn't write that down? I did, but, I, but you know what it was? It was because I was just trying to think of like, not like, okay, well, I'm allergic to penicillin because I was in the freaking hospital for it, so I was trying to keep this light and fun, so I am actually allergic to cats. Oh, yeah, yeah I, didn't I do. Think of that one. I get like big hives and yeah, everything like that, my so, too. you know. Uh, your your husband's allergic to your dog. Yes, so. that's true. But he knows that he has to take Zyrtec or he has to leave the house because yeah. the dog's not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, honey. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, so you go next. Okay, number three is what is your pet peeve? Right. Oh my gosh, and so this, this is so not, hard. Well, let me tell you, this is not like a major pet right. peeve or anything. This is just like maybe like lighthearted. Yeah, fun. like one things one complain like, about like a pet peeve because. I'll tell you, there's probably several that mm -hmm. I have, but I was trying to think of like, what is one for myself? You yeah, know? this was hard because like my major pet peeves would be probably most people's, which is like rudeness mm -hmm. and things like that. But we wanted yeah. to have like something specific and, and silly. So, yeah. okay. So for you, this is a really hard one. Uh, I don't know. One of the things that we both <laughs> complain <laughs> about is when we have the house all picked up and then people leave their cups and leave their leave mm -hmm. their shoes and things. So I feel like that's like all mom's pet peeves, right? Yes. But I mean, that's the one that came to my head. Yes. And you know what? That's exactly the one that my husband picked. <laughs> so I must no, be right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one that my husband picked. So this is what I put down. Oh yeah. Big yeah. People. No, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah that's a good one. Um, okay. So for the one that I had with you, I actually had, um, and Kelly will know why I'm saying this because there's maybe someone in particular in mind that we might be thinking of. But I had actually thought about people who were a little bit of like a know-it-all. Oh, that's, that's, that's such a good one. <laughs> that's such a that's good one. what I kind of thought of, you know. That is a really, really good one. That is not what I put. Nope. I was actually putting something really like specific and silly. Oh, okay. And I know you've heard me say this one many times, but it's really silly, but it is a pet peeve cabinet doors uh, left open. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, the people that live in my house are allergic <laughs> to closing the cabinet doors, and that is my pet peeve. I'm always going, close the door! <laughs> so yeah, That's it's true. silly, but yeah, yours was better. So. Okay, so let's see. All right, favorite clothing style. Oh, you skipped. You skipped. Oh, oh, celebrity crush. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this one, one, this one for you this one was a hard one. I, I know because I have like a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Celebrity Crush. So I know that it used to be The Rock. The Rock was someone who she was just like a movie star. She was really into, but then not so much anymore. No. So I kind of went back to one that I remember you saying like, oh, he's such a little cutie pie because she's really into like cute faces and stuff like that. So I said, Josh Dumel. You did really? And he has more than just a cute face, but I'm just saying. <laughs> He's such a great personality. <laughs> All right, this was a hard one yes, too because I yes. feel like 
there's just so many to choose from. Mm -hmm. And like, I've gone through my stages, so. Me too, yeah. me too. And my husband was definitely like throwing out all kinds of names last mm -hmm. night. I'm like, well, yeah, well, yeah, I like that one too. He's like, oh my gosh, you have so many. But okay, so I know Christina has always had a thing for blondes. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to think of maybe like a blonde celebrity. Yeah. So I went with, uh, this is like, I mean, you really can't go wrong with this one because it's every woman's crush, but mm -hmm. I went with Chris Hemsworth. Oh, <laughs> you're so close. Oh. I, honestly, I can't even believe that you got. Okay, so actually, who I picked? Oh, the other, other Chris. Another, another the other Chris. Another cute Chris. Another cute Chris. That is a Chris good one. Pratt, yeah, because I, I think he's uh, got a good sense of humor. Yeah, he too. does. He's yeah. really funny. And yeah. that makes you. I thought adorable. for sure you were going to um, do Channing Tatum because I was really into him. I think every yeah. woman was during Magic Mike. Yeah, but yeah. now I haven't heard you. You yep. haven't heard you swooning over him. <laughs> Really was like torn with like Ryan Reynolds because he's kind of my newer yeah. fave, but I thought yeah. you might not know that one because I haven't talked about it as yeah, much. Yeah, so. yeah, I was gonna say, and he's also right. Yeah, yeah, he's just adorable. I know, I agree. <laughs> I agree. All right, this one was either favorite clothing style or favorite piece of clothing. Okay, so I only, okay, I only selected for myself. Okay, and for you was the piece of clothing, but I'll do both. I'll do both. I'll, okay, so okay. if I'm gonna think about your favorite piece of clothing yes um, and my clothing style you can do both okay I'll do both clothing you. style I would guess classic mm-hmm and a favorite piece of clothing I'm gonna say a Portofino button-up oh, blouse that's really good that's really good but that's not what I meant no oh man I'm terrible <laughs> no you're not you're not because had I had like a, a go-to yes I would have been but I, I, I selected oh yeah well Jeez. okay I thought that was too obvious oh, I was like oh really? she probably went with more specific oh, I mean of okay. course jeans jeans are the best but yes but what would I style the jeans with a portafino, a portafino. okay yes yes so I'll give that one to you okay all right um okay so for you obviously your clothing style is feminine um and girly and all things pink <laughs> That was like a easy one I just gave to you. That's like putting your name on your test. <laughs> I'm just saying, I wonder where you're gonna take me to lunch today. Right. And favorite piece of clothing? Favorite piece of clothing for you? Oh, you have another one for it? You have, you, I didn't write you it. You write it? Oh, but, okay. I mean, I well, got what, list, so yeah, I feel I know. like it's only fair. I know. Well, what I actually wrote for you as well, I had three things in mind. So if I can't <laughs> use jeans, okay, okay. If I can't use jeans, it was a tie. It was a tie between your Rails plaid. Yes, that's a good one. Okay, or she also has these like sweatshirty, like pajama <laughs> kind of things. That's definitely it. That's definitely uh, yeah. It. Okay. Yeah, yeah. My wild fox uh, sweatshirts live in those things. Okay, you did good. You did. Okay. Good. <laughs> Yay! Go me. Okay. I got my competitive. You get number six. I've got my competitive Asian. No, like, I'm glad out. we don't really actually have a scorekeeper, but I think that I am buying lunch. It looks that way. Okay. So what's number? No, okay, number six. Yep. Okay. So what is my favorite snack food or your favorite snack food? Which one? Okay. Well, I'm going to guess yours. Okay. You're gonna so guess mine. Okay. I feel like this was an easy yeah. question, and if you put anything else, no, I know. you are trying to make me lose because Christina's favorite snack food is popcorn specifically movie theater popcorn but popcorn in general she loves popcorn oh my god so okay at least get this okay. one right? no it was oh. octopus <laughs> yes yay popcorn yay. okay and for kelly okay mm, this so is this challenging one, for me <laughs> it was hard it was really hard and the reason why is kelly is such a sweet tooth so there That's was true this whole laundry list of like <laughs> things that i know that she really enjoys i have two things written down but the one that i had to go with just because i know she actually has them in a little bag hidden in a drawer in her <laughs> in her bedroom. So to me that means like she's holding things close and near and dear to her heart and that is candy corn. Oh no, no. That's oh, only Okay, how about yeah, that's just that's just really? for a season, you oh, know. But okay. I do like them and this was really hard. I don't think anyone could The other one this I wrote question easily. What'd you put? Black and white cookies? Oh, that is definitely like a favorite, oh. but I, you know, I was thinking more like well, I did put cookies for one. Okay. But I also put nachos and salsa. That oh, is actually what? Like, no, I'm sorry. Yes. The nachos and salsa cannot be on there. You know why? She's though? in the morning telling me, like, I just had some cake for breakfast. It's true. Don't tell 
it. But I'm, you know what it is? I'm thinking of it as dessert oh, versus snack. So I was trying to yeah. like not put like cupcakes, cake, right. brownies, donuts, all those things. So yeah, it was just I was literally just I was literally just gonna write dessert. <laughs> that would have been a, the proper answer, probably. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Oh, all this right. This is too fun. Okay, number seven. Yes. Favorite alcoholic beverage. Mm hmm. So your favorite alcoholic beverage is Moscato. You know, everybody in the family was guessing that. No. It's actually not. It's okay, then let me have a second guess. Okay. But you don't get a point. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do love Moscato. I do love Moscato. You're but it's really not my favorite. favorite this one is one that's a little harder to come by, and it's not something that you would have, like, just every day in your house. Really? That's okay. why. I have no idea then. It is. If you yeah, like pina really? colada. Oh my god. That's <laughs> awesome. That is my absolute favorite. Okay. okay, so for you, I'm gonna guess Moscato too. Okay, I put it down mm -hmm. because it is one of my oh, favorites. Oh, but there's another one, isn't there? Yeah. Bailey's. No? I do like, <laughs> yes, and that was the third one, but I couldn't put three because isn't that just obnoxious <laughs> if I put down three, right? That's like just giving her the answer. So I did put sangria because it's oh, that's Moscato, true. That's sangria, true. or it is like a mudslide. Those okay, are the yes, three that I drink. So you're right, you're right, you're right. All right, so we did pretty good on yeah, that. Yeah, I agree. Okay. okay, I am so embarrassed that this one, oh my God, I feel ashamed. So this next question is middle name. Mm -hmm. I was racking my <laughs> brain. I was like, my husband doesn't have a middle name. Maybe Christina doesn't have it. I'm like, why don't I know Christina's middle name? I was trying to guess what goes with Christina. Mm -hmm. How do I not know this? I don't, I, you've I never, don't, I've never told mentioned you. I know yeah. your maiden name, mm -hmm. but I don't know your middle name. Mm -hmm. So Okay, so I'll, I'll give you a hint though. Okay. Okay. So think of maybe one of the most common Asian last names that you can think of. Lee. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Yeah. I don't know. We've yeah. never, I've yeah. never heard you with your middle name yeah. ever. So no. I was like, what the heck yeah. is it? And it's so funny okay, too because well, it's not even from um, my mother's side of the family how I got it. My dad's middle name is Lee, his three siblings, my brother, my my niece. Like it's just, Aww. and it's because we actually had the Lees marry the Marshalls back in like the day in Manchester or whatever, or Massachusetts, and that's so how cool. They well, now the name I along. learned something new. I, so everyone that thinks, one really stumped me. <laughs> yeah, everyone thinks it's because I'm Asian, but it's not. It's actually from my dad's <laughs> side of the family. So, okay, so for yours that was easy. So yeah, that's Anne. super easy. And, yes. and that is actually a family one too. My mom is Kathy Ann, I'm Kelly Ann, and my oldest daughter is Sophia Ann. So oh, it's another see, family that. tradition. Yeah, right? See, we're learning things mm -hmm. about each other. Who knew? Okay, so what was your favorite? I can't, why am I getting so confused? I'm supposed <laughs> to ask, okay, you have to guess you can mine. Do either way. Okay. okay. Favorite, my favorite subject in school and my least favorite subject in school. Okay, your favorite subject in school, I'm gonna go with math. Yes. Okay. <laughs> At least favorite, I was struggling with that one. I was mm. like, can we pick like art and music? Because I really <laughs> feel like those would not be your favorites. It's so true, I can't draw. But academics, I feel like you're probably good in all of them. Yeah, but there was one, just pick any subject is Ooh, probably. Maybe science? Mm, pretty close. Yeah? Pretty close, yeah. History. Oh, okay, okay, because your son loves history, so yes. I was like, oh, I think somebody must like history. Yeah, so. but I, my husband loves history, but I hate history. Okay, so that's where you're Okay, so from. for me, okay, I wrote it down, sorry. Okay, <laughs> see, for me, I picked the first one that you loved. I didn't mm -hmm. pick an academic one. I actually picked chorus. Yeah, I mean, I really didn't have it in school. Oh, you did So didn't. it wasn't my favorite okay, subject, so but I, I did like Okay, so if like. I had to pick just academia, then I would say English. Very good. Okay. I called it language arts, but okay. yes, you're right. And your least favorite, I said mine was history, and so I feel like yours has to be history. We had so many least favorites, <laughs> but I actually put math, math and, and PE. Oh! <laughs> See, I didn't, you know what? I didn't even... The, I did think of math, but I was like, but I knew you were strong in math, too, so. No, not a fan. No. <laughs> That's why you're the, the one who does all the financials for us. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. So 
Okay. All right. Okay, so what do we got next? Okay. Yes. What college did you go to and mm -hmm. what degree did you get? I felt like yes. this was pretty easy. Yeah, so, I did. Northeastern. Mm -hmm. And the degree was in accounting. Okay. Woohoo! I finally she got one completely me. right. <laughs> okay. Um, and for you, it was Barry. Mm -hmm. And you majored in dance. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so she majored in education, right? Yes. Yes. I got my bachelor's in elementary education. Points for you. Okay, okay the right. next one is so hard. This one is impossible. <laughs> this one's impossible. Okay, what is Kelly's favorite TV show? Um, I so, gave you two options. Okay, okay, okay. It's still going to be impossible. <laughs> and the reason why is because I get messages from Kelly on a weekly basis of a new TV <laughs> show that she's watching and that she's loving and that I have to catch up on the episode so that we can talk about it. It's and true. then it just doesn't happen because by the time I think about watching it, she's already like, oh my God, and there's a new one. There's a new one. You got to watch this one. So one of the ones that I put down um, was Married at First Sight. Yes. Really? Yes, yes, yes. Really? That used to be our show together. It was. And it then was. she just moved on and I'm going. Yes. And well, I found it and I was like, you have got to watch this. It is wreck. so good. It, yeah. It's so good. Yeah. So good. If you guys haven't watched it, and the Australia version, even oh, better. So it's yeah. really good. Yeah. So yeah, you I got agree. that one. Yay! And I put Yellowstone because okay. if you guys are Yellowstone watchers, you know it is the best show it ever. Is. But it's only on for like a very short amount of weeks, and then now it's gone for a while. So okay. Yeah. All right. And, so, okay. This was impossible to answer for it's you. It's impossible. My I you asked, probably don't even know. I, I don't. <laughs> My own family, they were like, we don't know. I'll tell you, I'll actually, after you guess, and I'll tell, okay. I'll tell you what they I said. had no idea because when I talk to you, you're usually watching some documentary mm. or something on YouTube or something about beekeepers <laughs> or finances. Like, I'm watching people's relationships become train wrecks, and Christina That's is so watching true. beekeepers collecting honey. <laughs> That's the it's opposite so parts true. of us. But so I know you have mentioned that your family loves to watch Big Bang Theory together. Mm. So that one was like one of the shows I knew you enjoyed. You are, oh, I was so close to writing that down. I really was. And I can't say like, okay, I love Big Bang Theory, but right. I was really trying to think of like, what show have I seen like the most seasons mm -hmm. of? So, oh. right, so that's where I kind of went with it because obviously okay. if I really liked it, that's then, true. and I, I think there's like 20 seasons for, or something like that, or maybe 15. There's a lot for Big Bang Theory, but I think the one that actually beats it out is, Friends? no, Little People Big World. It has 22 I seasons. I have never seen one episode oh <laughs> And life. here's the thing, I've been watching this show since <laughs> the inception. Really? Yeah, yeah. Like, How I love funny. it. funny. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. I know we learn something yeah. new. Yeah, if I thought about it that way, I probably would say Friends because I think mm. I've seen like every episode twenty five times. But yeah. yeah, I have a lot of favorite shows. Yeah. But you gave me that point, so there you okay. go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. We know who's buying lunch today. <laughs> and it, you know what? It's because I have an unfair advantage. Yes. Of, you know. Yes. Yes. It's true. All right. So the next one is this one was impossible. But what was your first job? Okay. So I'm trying to guess your first job, and I'm like, I know some of your jobs that you had, mm. but I have no idea if they're one of these is first. So right. I'm just gonna go with I know. At some point in college, you worked at Victoria's Secret. I did. I don't know if that was your first job, I though. did. That's a good guess, though, because I did have written down, like, department store, because when I was in high school, that was, like, my first I'm driving to it job. Mm -hmm. But my actual officially, like, first, first job where I actually got paid money was babysitting. Oh, well, in that case, mine's wrong, too. <laughs> I was and it was babysitting, it was babysitting too. Yeah. I actually put Department a toy store, store at the mall. Because that's what I was going to say. I was like, but yeah, you it was worked at a store? You're right. Back in right? the day, oh my goodness, like you'd be like 12 and people would be having you babysit yes, their I kids. Know. And I had like zero experience with I children because I was an only child. Mm -hmm. And my friend and I would spend like Friday nights just yeah. babysitting kids. Absolutely. And my girls are like, oh, we love to babysit. I'm like, I don't know that a lot of people are I looking agree. for babysitters. I, right I think I actually started when I want to say it was like, 10, almost yeah. 11 years old. I remember there was like someone who had an infant. I mean, like four months old and they wanted me to babysit. I was like, I babysat once and I was like, oh, I can't, <laughs> I can't. Yeah. That is a lot yeah, to but I had my parents like, you know, they were just a few houses down. So it wasn't like anything bad was going to happen. But just, just, it was just so different. Mm -hmm. So different. Yeah. 
Okay, so, all right, so what is um, Kelly's favorite ice cream? I have no clue. Mm, I have that's true, no. we don't really and eat you know the reason ice cream why? together. You like sweets, but you're not that big of like an ice cream kind of fan. Like, no, I never hear true. you kind of saying like, I am just craving ice cream That's right true, now. I'm not. I'm um, a baked usually, kind of girl. Yes, yes. So that's why it was hard because I've actually never eaten ice cream with you, so mm -hmm. I don't remember, but... Because you love pink, I just went ahead and picked <laughs> strawberry. <laughs> that is a good one. That is a good one. But my tried and true that I always go back to, and my youngest daughter is just like me with this, is mint, mint chocolate, chocolate chip. chip. Oh yes, my god. That is, that that is, is my favorite. That's Tom's favorite. That is my favorite. How so, funny. That, so that will be easy to remember. Yes, you will. And he for you, loves. so Christina is a big salty person, not a sweets oh, person. Yeah. And so we'll split like a dessert sometimes mm -hmm. at dinner or whatever, but I don't, I've never really heard you talk about like ice mm -hmm. cream. So I was trying to guess like what you might like and I'm mm -hmm. like, they don't have like a popcorn flavored ice yeah, cream. Yeah, I know, I know. I was kind of torn. I don't know why these popped into my head, but I was thinking you might either like coffee ice cream yes. or like a pralines and cream. Oh, okay. Those are such good guesses. Okay. Like they did really I just are. give you I, a new well, flavor? Well, <laughs> my daughter, she guessed coffee, which I was like, ooh, that's a good good one yes I, I was and I had my three but I can only my, I put two on there pistachio <gasps> and, and I was gonna say butter, butter pecan, pecan but instead I you said know what it's, it's and so cream. funny I was I was gonna write I was writing this down I'm like I'm such an old person because I think <laughs> usually I feel like older people my kids like, didn't even know what pistachio was that came up the other day <laughs> really they're like someone put pistachio ice cream <laughs> who eats that <laughs> salty oh, like nuts that that's kind of true. in there. Yes. I didn't even think yeah. of it. Oh, and they're both green. Pistachio mm -hmm. and mint chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. so. Yay. <laughs> okay. So. Moving along. Moving along. You're you're going with this one, right? You're okay. Okay. So this, this was a hard one for, for you. Mm -hmm. um, mine's kind of easy, but it was boyfriends. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So I was trying to think about conversations that we've had. And specifically, she's trying to guess how many boyfriends did I have in high school and, and college? And, and like college. real boyfriends. Yes, like real, real relationships. Boyfriends. So, like, like people who, if they said, were you at Christina's <laughs> boyfriend? <laughs> Not like those middle school ones where you pass the note and check if you, you like walk by Kelly. And you just <laughs> see each other. <laughs> we're, we're together. Check yes if you like Kelly. <laughs> Not those kind of boyfriends. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna just throw it out there. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I'm I'm thinking four. Oh my God, four. that's a great guess. And you know, oh, what? I was gonna say five. You know what? Did you include your husband in that? Number five okay. is my husband. There you go. Number I was I was close husband. then. Okay, mm -hmm. I was close. Okay, so I am going to guess for you. Dos. You're close. Really? But number three is my husband. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, because I only know of one other. No, there was another one really? before him, but yeah, number three was my we husband. We want to sit down and discuss it was, that right it now. Was, <laughs> that will be our lunch conversation. It was short. It was short. It was early in high school, but it was short. Oh but yeah, gosh. so three with the husband. Yeah, that okay. I actually would count as like See, boyfriends. and if you had asked me prior to this, there were certain ones where I felt like 100% I'm going to get this question, right? That was one of them. Look at how that. I'm learning funny. stuff. See? Okay. More topics to discuss mm -hmm. at lunch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next is you. All right, so this is an easy one. So what did Kelly want to be when she grew up, right? Mm -hmm. so what did she want to be? So I don't know if you guys know this, but Kelly was really big into like singing when she was younger. She was in so many like competitions and her voice honestly is like super amazing. So Aww, I would guess you. that you would want to be a singer. Yes. Yeah. Get it right! Yes, yes, yes. And good That's luck with I this one, because... Oh, this was a hard one. Well, I had no dreams as a child. So. <laughs> so. You're a realist from day one. I was like, come on now. I'm not going to be anything. I don't know. We'll just, I I'm, just trying, some I'm just trying to survive in life. So I didn't oh really have... Gosh. Honestly, I did not have anything. So I can't get this right anyway. But mm -hmm. yeah, I was literally racking my brain. Mm-hmm. Um, I know you did like some beauty pageants and stuff, so maybe you wanted to be like a model. I would do maybe a model with those pageant days that yeah. you had. No. So you didn't put that up. 
don't want to die. You're like, I'm too realistic. <laughs> that is a far, yeah. that's a pipe dream. <laughs> the, the pageants, uh, those those were, that was my mother's dream. So I had to satisfy <laughs> my mom's dream of going into pageantry. Okay, so the one thing that I wrote down, and this is because I had to write a book like in sixth grade of like who I was going to be when I grew up, oh. right? And so one of them was like, I wanted <laughs> to be like a talk show host like <laughs> Oprah. So, oh, you don't want to be Oprah. No, you just want to be a talk yes. show. Yes. So oh, I wrote, I wrote, Christina, like, there's only one Oprah. Yeah. <laughs> so my so my, my uh, show was going to be called Talking with Tina because that's what Aww, everyone well, called me like back at that time. I kind of achieved it right now doing this. <laughs> so tell me, <laughs> what kind of trauma did you experience in high school? She makes everybody cry. She makes oh, I everybody love it. Cry. That's a good one. Okay. That is a good one. All right. Okay, so this next one was one I wanted to like keep from the teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> that is, what was the age of your first kiss? Yeah. So... Yeah, I was thinking about like, you know, real kiss, mm -hmm. your, your your big first kiss moment. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what to answer for you. Um, this is a tough one. I'm going to go with like 13. Mm, look at you. Oh, yay, 13. I got one, I got one. Yep, I got my first real kiss at 13. And I had no idea for you either, so I was like, I'm 13, maybe she's 13 too. <laughs> Close. 14. 14. 14. Which was, is funny. I was the hussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what's so funny is that, you know, my youngest is 14 and I was like, I'd be I know. upset if she was I kissing know. boys right now. I no, know. no, 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 no. It's but true. I was in high school. I was a freshman in high school. So, and she's in middle school still. So. Yeah, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. You're one of those girls. <laughs> I was. Living on the dark side. <laughs> it was unexpected. He just... <laughs> okay, so this next one is, does Kelly have any tattoos and would she get any more? So I'm going to, I said this, so Kelly has, I know she's got a flower, like sunflower tattoo on her ankle. I don't think you have any more. No. Okay. okay. Now, would you get any more? So my first inkling was I was going to say no, but then I, when I started thinking about it, I was like, if she was, which I don't think she will, but if she was, it would be something like, I don't know, like maybe like some names of like her grandkids or something like that, because she is such a family kind of person. So that's the only so thing. That's so funny. That's so funny because, uh, okay, so I thought the question was if you had to get one now. Oh. So I did say I wouldn't get it here, but I'd probably get it somewhere hidden because mm -hmm. I don't want any more tattoos. But I did say I do have a sunflower and I would get two little hearts with my girl's oh, initials see? if I was going to get. I would not get any more tattoos. I, I don't recommend it. Right. I agree. <laughs> okay. So, yes, Christina has a tattoo. Mm -hmm. um, she doesn't have to reveal hers all the time on YouTube like I do because you guys have definitely noticed mine on my ankle. <laughs> but, yep, <laughs> Christina has a little, little surprise on her lower back. <laughs> I believe it is a bird. Mm -hmm. Yes, a dove. A dove. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, she does have that. And would you get any more? I don't no, think you would get no. any more. If I could, I, I would get the one that I have removed. I'm with you. I, I would really too. Would. I would too. And of course, now my youngest daughter is talking about how she's going to get the same tattoo as mom when she gets older. <laughs> but she also has like three or four others that oh, she wants. Okay. I'm like, Oh, oh, come on. You know what it is? I just feel like anything that you have to keep on your body for yes. the rest of your life, I change my mind constantly about stuff. So things yep. that, you know, I really loved before, it's just I've like outgrown that mm -hmm. phase. So I don't know. Maybe so, there are some people who they're still getting tattoos even now. You yeah. know, I in you know into their 60s and stuff so but for me it would be a no just because yeah. I'm so fickle. I always change my mind. Yeah, me too. I mean, I don't it's not a huge regret. I think mm -hmm. we both got them in places where it doesn't like affect our lives so much. But right. you know, I definitely think it's one of those things that you do when you're young. And sometimes when you get yeah. older, you wish you hadn't done it. So. Yeah, exactly. I remember when my son first, I was like, mom, you have a tattoo on your back. I was like, what? <laughs> no, Brennan, Brennan, go. Go and eat, go and eat something. Let's go. Like, so hence the one piece bathing suit. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, okay, your next question. Right? Oh, okay, next question is, what is your dream vacation? I'm telling you, you got, you really I got screwed I really over. Did. I really did. These are so I know hard, you don't even know I the answers to these. I'm just making so, so, I would say, I think you've done some of Europe, and you've mm -hmm. done, like, Greece, mm -hmm. and so those came to mind, but I'm like, mm, I guess I could say that, but she's already been to those places. 
Um, you're not really like a beach lover, so mm -mm. I wouldn't really say Hawaii. Mm -mm. So I didn't really have much left, but mm -hmm. I was thinking like maybe part of Europe. Mm -hmm. There's things in you, maybe France, Paris, mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. like that. Paris? Okay, yeah. So it's really hard. I'm telling you people, it's really, really hard for her to guess correctly. So, oh wait, this was Sea Dove and no more. I didn't even show this. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so. I selected two. Oh, okay. Okay, so good, good, if I good. have to pick a dream vacation with my family, it would be to Europe because even though I've been there, mm -hmm. my family hasn't. But for me, myself, probably a place I'd like to experience, you know, on my bucket list or whatever. And there's a couple because I really like Australia as well. But it would be Alaska. Good I one. Really good one. Wanna, Definitely know, a good one. Go and visit. Okay, so I was at least kind of right. Yay! Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, so for you, this right. had to be kind of tough because it was tough for me. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I cheated. I cheated because she's already been on her dream vacation. It's true. And it was it's to true. Paris. It's true. So. <laughs> it was. And I want to go again. Yeah. So yes, yes, yeah. you got that one right. Oh, I didn't know that you were going to pick it again. That's great. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and then let's see, what was the age that you got married? Okay, so I tried to do some math. I know that even though <laughs> Math girl. I know. I know that even though we met our husbands right around the same age, mm -hmm. you got married before I did. Mm -hmm. Um so and then she's also a year younger than me, so that's so mm -hmm. now I'm trying to calculate year difference yes. and age difference. So I just came oh I can't I can't say it. Okay, because that's mine. Okay, so I picked twenty-five. And, Look at that. Okay, so based on that, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with 27. Mm, very, very close. I was just a couple months shy. Of okay, yes, because you're married one year less and you're yeah, one year older. Exactly. We okay. got married in June, and then I turned uh, 27. And I had in just turned 25 when I got married. So there you go. We were pretty good. That's why I love we were pretty man. good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the last question is what is the best part of YouTube for mm -hmm. you and what is the worst part of doing YouTube for you? Right, so, okay. I feel like this wasn't that hard to answer. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, the best part of YouTube is working with your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. The worst part of YouTube is probably editing mm -hmm. or returns. Yes. Because we have to go to yes. UPS a lot. And I said filming because that's when I get to see Kelly and editing, which is, it just takes a while. It does. You guys don't it know, does. it takes a long time to It takes a lot of work. Yeah, it I does. was kind of torn with that one. Yeah. But, oh, I mean, I gave it to you because oh, I, okay. I was like, it's of so course funny. I'm going to put. But look, I put shopping. Oh, yes, yes, and yes then, because that is fun. That you know is a what? highlight but, of our job. But you know what I put down though um, for probably the worst part though is because Sometimes we'll get, you know, comments that aren't oh, like, yeah. like yeah, the best. We'll get some ugly yeah, comments but, sometimes. Yeah. And then um I'll be like, Oh Kelly, you know and she'll usually be the one to kinda like handle it or she'll see it first or whatever, so she bears more of the brunt of that area where, you know, there's just certain people I feel like, you know, they're just never gonna be happy or they're just not in a good place. Yeah. So they kind of, you know, I mean, thankfully, most not, of the yes. comments I would say ninety nine ninety nine percent are super positive, mm -hmm. but occasionally you get someone who and I don't mind when they're just like giving feedback about a video, but they'll go for like those personal digs, yeah. you know, and it's like really, yeah, it, but you know, yeah, whatever. And it's kind of funny too because when I was going through, I was like, okay, I know we both like filming together, but one of the, the things about Kelly is that when she's shopping, she gets immediately like inspired with some sort of content <laughs> or a particular outfit, and that then just kind of spirals into you know, like another idea, or she gets really excited, she can't wait to show it for a haul or whatever it is. So that's why that is like, a fun That's why I knew, yeah, like, okay, that is gotta fun. have shopping on here, you know? Yep, yep. The shopping part is definitely yeah. one of the... It's fun to, you know, have your career be about mm -hmm. something that you love with someone that you love. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely the best job. Yeah. So, this is so fun. I know, we're gonna and do it again. I know, and now I'm gonna remember your middle name and, like, <laughs> I know all these things about you. A lot of them will probably change next week, like, with our favorite food. <laughs> You're gonna be like, you said pistachio ice cream. I'm like, I know, but I'm changing it now. <laughs> <laughs> now I like Rocky Road. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, definitely leave us a comment, guys, and tell us like if you played this with your best friend, because mm -hmm. I feel like this is a good a good game. Or you can yeah. play it with your spouse, you can play yeah. it with your kids. It's definitely fun. Yeah, We've had a good is. time. It is. My family, they were so annoyed with me. They're like, you're so hard. I'm like, I know. I don't even know my stuff. <laughs> Trying to get ideas from you guys.
<laughs> okay, so we hope you guys had as much fun watching this video as we did filming this video. This really was honestly like so fun. We so love being fun. able to do these kinds of things. So when we come up with our next Q&A, definitely, you know, go ahead and write down some questions, you know, down below and we'll make sure to answer them in the next one. And we hope you guys have a great week.